I started in high tech back in early 1990s. I um, did a bunch of software engineering, and then I moved on to Red Hats uh, back in the early 2000s. And then I was Red Hat for a good period of time, about 10 years. And then after Red Hat, I switched over to uh, Eucalyptus Systems, and Eucalyptus Systems, as you know, is the pioneer in infrastructure as a service and cloud. And then while at Eucalyptus, we actually noticed a big gap, and uh, an amazing opportunity, what we call IT automation. I think the tools that are currently existing in, in that space fail to meet the requirements from the customers. And that wasn't just with the large enterprises, that was actually across whether it's a startup of 10 servers or whether it's an enterprise with 20,000 servers. And at, at that point, we, we, we decided, look, why don't we look for solutions that actually meet these kind of requirements above and beyond what these existing tools can do today. So we found Ansible. And Ansible is a project that started back in February of 2012. Um, it started by Michael DeHaan, who's our CTO now. And it was the premise of Ansible was to take all the existing tools that are currently supposed to be uh, helping with IT automation and make them simpler, more secure, and can scale. Uh, we created Ansible Works to manage that from a sort of a, a commercial side. Um, and so we have Ansible Core, which is the open source, and Ansible Works, which is the company behind Ansible. Well, so it's, it's, this is actually an amazing time to be in the open source, you know. So this movement of a good part of, you know, 20 years plus has been amazingly rewarding. The whole idea behind um, customer-driven innovation and how, and the scale and the sort of the pace at which innovation has been coming through open source has been amazing. So it certainly exceeded all everybody's expectations of where open source is going to be. Um, so today, if you don't have an open source project, you, it, it really becomes a challenge in how you're going to get that that kind of product in the hands of as many people as you can, and how you can get that innovation back into the company. And so. That coupled with the fact that you see a lot of what we call, you know, the big data movements, the, the, the public or private cloud movements, sort of the, the advanced networking movements, all of that, a lot of that is based on a sort of baseline around open source. And so being part of that community and being part of that movement gives Ansible an amazing foot forward. When we announced, when we launched Ansible Works, GigaOM actually announced with us at that point, helped us put the word out. And Structure is one of those uh, events that has sort of a mix of everything. Whether if you're interested in raising funds to, 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 to expand with your company, or whether you're interested in meeting some strong brands to get adoption of your product, or whether you're here to network with people that can actually give you some ideas around what you're doing and how you're doing it, and how you can make it better. Um, we actually, last week, we announced three things. We announced the launch of our AWX 1.2. That's our enterprise Ansible Works product. Uh, we also announced a partnership with Red Hat around integration with OpenStack. And we also announced a, a, a customer win with AppDynamics, as you know, with the application uh, monitoring or application performance monitoring. And then in about uh, um, a month, uh, July, third week of July, we're going to be announcing uh, GA of our AWX 1.2. So our enterprise uh, product is going to be is going to go live in the third week of July next month, which we're very excited about.